traveled throughout the south of Lebanon in both Christian and Muslim majority communities, studying interreligious reconciliation and coexistence after the Civil War. I spent most of the semester studying abroad in New Zealand, where I studied New Zealand's history, Maori history, and culture. I come from a small Eastern European country called Serbia, and due to my country's tumultuous past, uh, I've always been interested in um, international relations as a career. Traveling has opened my eyes to the world. I got to travel to Israel and meet Iraqi Jewish because I was born and raised in Baghdad, Iraq and learned about the history of Iraqi Jewish and how they left back in the 60s. Going to Morelos, Mexico, where my family is from, and this experience really humbled me because I got to see the origins of my parents. It was really impactful because I got to, I got to understand why so many immigrants leave their home country in search of better opportunities in the in the United States. I've been fortunate enough to go on two exchanges, one in Tanzania where I got to see a Maasai women's clinic in the Eastern Serengeti, and the second, shortly before COVID, was in uh, Western Australia, where I was fortunate enough to sit in on a physical therapy class. Landing in a country where you don't speak the language and um, the different culture and the different people shocked me more than I was expecting, but is actually what motivated me to continue studying French in my undergraduate studies. Spending a month in Ecuador with my, my best friend and her family, this experience was really important for me because it was an immersive experience i got to speak the language and learn about the culture inherently being canadian the vast majority of my international experience took place here in the u.s although prior to coming here i did two international language programs in spain the most important lesson i have learned while abroad is how important it is for me as a scholar and an activist to see the world through a holistic lens I need not only see things through the economic lens or the gender lens or the human rights lens. My international experience opened my eyes to the many complexities involved in the development of other countries, which will help me in the future when I work for an international humanitarian or development agency. It made me want to work for an organization that helps to create alternative sources of funding, like microcredits, to help various populations around the world build businesses, gain an education, fulfill basic needs, and become social entrepreneurs. In conjunction with international relations, education is something that will improve this world and that can actually help it. Hopefully, I will get a master's in human rights and international law. As a refugee myself, my goal is to work for either for the United Nations or the State Department or any non-profit organization that supports immigrants and advance their status. In the long term, my ambitions are to work for the Inter-American Development Bank um, because I think it would be an amazing job that utilized my French and Spanish language skills. It is so vital to learn to see the world through the eyes of somebody else. Once I graduate, I would like to do research in Mexico by applying to a Fulbright scholarship and do a research regarding public health and culture. The OCC scholarship means so much to me. I really admire the OCC members' commitment to future leaders in global affairs, and it's really inspiring to have current leaders show so much hope and support for us. But it's also very validating for my interests and passions, and it's nice to hear that um, other people appreciate the work. Um, immensely, immensely thankful to the Oregon Consular Corps for uh, giving me this scholarship because it will it's providing me with such an opportunity. I'll extend my gratitude towards the scholarship committee, all of the members of the Oregon Consular Corps, and all of their donors that have made this possible. The Oregon Consular Scholarship means a lot to me. I don't take it for granted. I want to I feel an obligation to make them proud. I am really thankful and honored to have received this scholarship because it means that somebody believed in me and believed in my goals of bettering my community. So thank you so much, OCC.